What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you seven of the best, most stealthily effective DM templates I've ever found. And I use them to this day. This will skyrocket your close rates. I'll show you literally word for word exactly what you can steal in this video implement in your business right away. And my apologies for the mess. Like I'm literally in the middle of a move right now, but I'm moving to the new house in two days. So uh, we're ready to rock and roll here. I'll see you on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and go into my computer. I'll see you there. All right, cool. So we made it inside the computer here. Uh, if you don't know who I am, by the way, my name is Jack Bly. I built my first fitness coaching business to 170k a month. Um, now I built this business to a little bit over 70k a month, and I'm just sharing what I've learned along the way. Uh, everyone else who runs an online coaching business. All right, so hopefully this is valuable. And I'm talking about DM templates. I'm specifically talking about follow up. All right, and some of you might roll your eyes or think like, "Oh, follow up is stupid." But I'm going to break all of these limiting beliefs and show you how follow up is the most powerful thing in the world. Literally closes me five to six deals every single month so that translates to you know 40 50 60k uh in value like that all right and these are like the easiest things you can implement ever so i'm going to show you exactly why you want to implement this so pay attention if you care about making more money let's dive in follow up is king i'm going to share with you three big reasons why you need to follow up and if you don't like you're just leaving money on the table so number one is the vanishing buying window so the thing is like we know that people buy to go from their current state to their de desired state right some sort of transformation that you're selling them the thing is like this like the the big reason that people buy is due to trauma. All right, due to trauma. So example here, a husband and wife sit down to watch a movie. The wife makes a comment about like how this male actor had like so ripped, he's got a six pack. The husband looks down his beer belly and he's like, crap, <laughs> I look terrible. And his mind is racing with all these consequences. Is she even attracted to me? What if she cheats on me? What happened to my marriage? At this moment, a buying window opens up. This is a window of time where the man is receptive to solutions to this pain, to this moment of trauma. But this window does not last forever. It's gonna fade with time. All right, so this is a big reason right here why you wanna be so persistent and follow up consistently. Uh, because we don't know when the buying window is going to open up, but we sure as hell wanna be there when it does. All right, so these small moments of, of trauma happen all the time. They happen intermittently. And like I said, they're gonna fade. So like pain fades away. Have you ever had like some, I don't know, some, someone say like something rude to you? You probably don't even think about it like, a week later, because you've moved on, the pain is gone. Even if it cut really deep, you move on, or that's just how it works. So you wanna be there when this does happen. Number two big reason why you need to default is a mere exposure effect. This is a cognitive bias which explains our tendency to develop a preference for someone merely due to being familiar with them. Basically, we tend to like people more um, the more that we see them. <laughs> the more impressions that you serve, uh, the more someone's gonna like you. All right, so if you ever seen someone pop up in your feed over and over again, you tend to like them more just because you see them all the time. All right, so why do you tend to be uh, friends with, you know, people who went to the same school with you, people you work with, your neighbors? Uh, number three is a rule of seven. So there's this marketing principle called the rule of seven that states that on average, prospects need to see your advertising at least seven times to take action on buying. And that is average. So that means half the prospects will require more than seven times to actually take action and buy. Another reason to follow up more and more and more. So there you have like it. I feel like anytime psychology statistics back up something together, it's a very good indication that it's correct. So all of these three things are like basically saying why you should do follow, why follow up is king. Even me saying this, some of you will get these forms of resistance that pop up like, ah, well, like I don't want to be scammy, I don't want to be salesy or annoying or pushy or blah blah blah. I'm gonna overcome those right now, so you stop being a loser and you stop like <laughs> just like doing things that don't make you money. Because the truth is, like, there's three things you need to know. Three things right now. If you believe this, like you don't want to be pushy, annoying, or piss people off, here's the truth. This is a belief that doesn't serve you and also is not even true. It's not factual. People actually appreciate and respect follow-ups. So take a look at the message below. I received from someone who's now a current client of mine. He said, hey man, I really appreciate the hustle, consistent reach outs. What can you offer if we would start in January? And oddly enough, this was actually, um, he texted me this after my seventh follow-up. Seven. <laughs> All right, we also do follow up in a way that's very low pressure, sometimes funny and laid back. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do follow up in a way that like isn't annoying, isn't like annoying and pushy and all that stuff, but people actually respect it. People actually appreciate it. And this client now, um, he just made, I think right now he's making, he just hit 11K this month uh, of May so far when I'm filming this. So he literally went from, you know, basically grounding the bread zero in his business to 11K a month because of this follow up. So huge. Huge, completely transforms his life because of the follow-up. Number two, fear of rejection. Most people are afraid of rejection. I was too, but I had this huge aha moment when a mentor told me this. Never reject yourself, only let the market reject you if it so chooses. So you see like what's going on is you not following up is rejection. It's just you rejecting yourself. Or if you ever known someone who, this might be yourself as well, you always are too scared to go up and approach the girl. Or you would never do it. That you are being rejected just by yourself. 
<laughs> you're not letting the, the girl reject you. You're rejecting yourself, which is even worse. So realize this, like, wouldn't you rather let the market decide if you should be rejected or not rather than yourself? You're just quitting on yourself, which is pretty pathetic. And the last one here, if they, if they were interested, they would reply. This is a load of crap. Like, have you ever in your life forgotten to reply to someone? Like, has that ever happened in, in any moment of existence during your lifetime? Or have you ever forgotten to do a task? Have, has it ever happened? If so, if you answered yes, I mean, realize humans forget things. Humans get busy. Humans have things come up. Your prospects are humans. It's not like some robotic, like mathematical machine, like they're humans. So treat them as such. Follow up. They forget to do things. Or we never follow up with prospects who explicitly tell, tell us like they're not interested or to stop reading out. We don't do any like spam and stuff like that. But if they just don't reply, they forget. This is often like one of the most common things that they just forget. So now that hopefully I've shattered all your limiting beliefs and, and BS that you have going on in your mind that's stopping you from doing follow-up, I'm going to show you the exact templates that convert so well and close you extra deals like literally this month if you have like a big enough list. So I'm going to show you those right now. All right, so I found the list here, and th these are literally them word for word that I use myself. Um, I give these to my clients to use as well, but here's some examples. All right, so first one. So, hey, Nate, we're testing something new that will allow you to come in for less down and be able to cash flow kicker quicker. Want me to send some info? So this is huge because this is like if on the sales call, you know, there was some delay or something like financial logistical thing that came up, and they end up like ultimately like not doing it because of finances. And so this is basically offering them some sort of better terms cash flow wise. All right, and big thing here that you'll notice, I'll we'll show you the traits here. One of the traits is curiosity building. So we're just building massive curiosity with these follow-ups because we just want to re-engage these leads. These are all like, we're seeing all these two basically people who didn't close, maybe they didn't show up to a call, or maybe they just didn't book call in the first place. Those are all like the, the pool of leads they can send these to. And I guarantee if you do this at least like once per month, to all this list of leads, you're going to close more deals, period. Because no one does this, no one does this. Even though we just talked about all the reasons why you need to do follow up. Everyone's just too lazy, they don't have a system for it, blah, 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 all these excuses. So if you do this, you're gonna make just way more money than everyone else instantly, which is amazing. So um, big thing is curiosity. I'll go over the other traits as well right now. So concrete dream outcome your avatar actually wants. So if you know what they want, obviously if you had a sales call, you wanna mention that in your message like the exact thing they wanted as far as their dream outcome. Urgency, scarcity, uh, you wanna keep it simple, better terms of deal. A big one here is you wanna overcome their initial objection. So whatever they, they said was their objection. If it's price, you can do something like this where you basically offer better terms for a payment plan. Uh, if it's timing, you can literally offer to extend the program. Hey, like, oh, I'm going on a vacation for the next two weeks. So I think we should get started like next month, blah, blah, blah. You could say something like, oh, no problem, man. Well. Since I know you're obviously traveling, what I'm willing to do for you is just give you an extra month in the program completely free of charge, like no worries at all. So that way, even with your limited time right now, you can at least get started, dive into things a little bit, set some foundations. And then when you come back, we're ready to really hit the ground running, but you get an extra month completely free. Is that sound fair? And so you overcome their objection with whatever your your you know uh, follow-up message is. Or you can do other things like send them social proof, free trials, etc. So I'm going to show you some more examples. Um, we have a free trial message right here. So I'm off our seven day free trial for uh, the last week of this month. I need you want to try it out risk free. So this works really well for people who have maybe a trust objection, um, some concerns they've been burned in the past. They get to try it out completely risk free. So this works really well. You're going to need some opt-ins here, especially like if they get into your program and you know your coaching side of things is really good, this is what you want to do. Because you're going to deliver on the coaching side, like it's going to be amazing for them. You know that for a fact. They just need a taste. They need to get in the door and know, know like, hey, this isn't like, a crappy program like I've, I bought in the past. So this works really well. We also have embedded the urgency here. So hey, for the last week of you know this month only, you want to try it out risk free. Like this is like killer message right here. This works really well. Um, we have a social proof message you can use. I've used this so often. It's close to me so many deals and say I love this message. So I say my name, my man, this username. I tag the actual account of the client. So ideally, if you have a client that's down with you to like um, use their results publicly use this i mean this is killer because this is the most like strongest form of proof you can use is you tag the person because that way they, they can see it's legit because a lot of times you just send like a screenshot or like a uh, billy bob you know just got this result and it's just like it could have been made up you know it could be kind of like completely fake but if you tag the person they know inherently hey i can click on this person's account it's a real person and if, they, if they're if they're actually doing this like if they know I could message this person and ask, hey, is this guy legit? Is he scamming? Like they know that. And so 
when you do this, like it is so legitimate, like it adds so much belief of, okay, this is like legitimate, like result. It's, it's really happened. So I love doing that. And they used to say, hey, they went from this concrete nightmare to concrete dream. Let me know if you're ready for result or similar results. I love doing this and just spam your results in their, their face. I love to do it. Um, this is a simple one. Hey, do you need more dream? This one works really well. It closed me three deals last Black Friday, actually. So, hey, Nam, I'm running a crazy Black Friday special. Deal ends tomorrow. Just reply back thumbs up if you're interested in the details. So, <laughs> this is killer. Again, this is just massive curiosity building here. I mean, look at this. Like, I've noticed all these messages. I'm saying, like, nothing that's, like, really, really concrete. Like, I'm just, like, saying, like, big picture ideas. I'm using scarcity. I'm using urgency. Like I'm saying, I'm running this special. It's crazy. The deal ends tomorrow. And so if they're even remotely open to what I have, they're going to reply back. <laughs> they're going to reply back that they're interested because like they don't know what the deal is, but I said, it's crazy. And I said, it ends tomorrow. So like, Hey, like might as well find out. So it works really well. Uh, this is a killer right here. Um, let me see it. Yeah, the other. This is a, like another good template right here. Hey, now I'm testing something brand new for the start of the new year. I thought of you to keep the exclusive. We're only going to be rolling out for the next, you know, five avatar that reply back. If you want more info, just let me know in the next 24 hours. No pressure either way. So again, we're using scarcity. We're using urgency. Um, and it's a lot of curiosity as well. So all those principles, we're just constantly wrapping that up. And you can send out like one of these templates once per month to all of your list of leads. And I guarantee you're going to close deals. I mean, this is like, <laughs> this right here is so good. Um, you're going to love this. So please use this. Please like steal this, implement this in your business right away. Um, that's all I have for this video. Uh, if you are a coach and you want to work together one-on-one -on -one to actually scale and install a predictable client acquisition system in your business, that's going to generate you an extra 10 to 30K a month in new revenue to your business. All right, that's actually consistent and predictable every single month you can build on. Click the link below. Um, I have an offer for you. You can schedule a call, chat about it, see if we're a good fit, all that jazz. So click that link if you are interested in that at all. Um, if not, no worries. You're amazing. Peace. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.